Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video uh, to really give you guys some idea as to the roots of Palantir and its approach to machine learning and artificial intelligence and why we want to make human beings better at their jobs. I was recently on Jackson's channel explaining um, the roots of explainable AI being, a, being embedded in Palantir's foundry and how that came out of the DARPA research project at the Department of Defense. Uh, I will leave links to these articles in the description, but uh, you can read here about um, the roots of explainable AI and what DARPA was trying to accomplish with this. And uh, for a deep dive on the outcome, this article here, I'll link in the description is great. I mean, it goes through the entire history. It's like going through all the results, but this is the one key takeaway you guys all need to, to read, right? They go through um, what they did as a as a summary of the lessons learned and what they've learned by conducting explainable or by using explainable AI over the last I think it's ten years, right? And they did a, a focus group with approximately twelve thousand seven hundred participants, nineteen hundred uh, uh, supervised participants, and and they went through going you know how they're using these systems and these are all the lessons that they learned about like what how can we make this better for the user. Um, and, and sort of how do we improve decision making? How do we make the UI better? I, th I thought this was really interesting down here where they're talking about how designing web, web interfaces can make things better and how it was linked to the COVID-19 pandemic. Guess who's doing that, right? That's Palantir, folks. Uh, and so one of the things I, I, this should just bring to light how far ahead Palantir is. They have over a decade of experience embedding explainable AI, which we know is a better way to integrate ML and AI decision making with thousands and thousands of focus group participants who have helped develop that product. And for anyone who doesn't believe me when I tell you that this came out of DARPA, you're full of shit. Right? So like, yes, it came out of DARPA. This is, this is widely known in the industry. Um, so yeah, Palantir has a huge competitive advantage having gone through all these focus groups, having a decade of experience working with DARPA to develop explainable AI to let human operators on the battlefield make better, faster decisions. So I hope this helps, guys.